Kelly, can I see that? People say this kind of thing, and, and probably when they come here, they, they mean it, but, but uh, for us, uh, some of us are uh, semi-local boys, so it means a bit more from us. When we say, it's good to be here at San Diego. It's been a while, the traffic still sucks. But uh, we're all in, we're all here, and, uh, and, it was a, and it was a perfect Seattle day here in San Diego. Why is my skirt blowing up? Um, well, this is uh, a little more comfortable than we even remember it. It's amazing how many people that they fit in here, but it's just has a nice intimate of which, uh... And with all the flags, it looks like you've kept the customs people busy here. We're going to take advantage of that. And uh, as the last song said, I, I do believe we got all night. So make yourselves comfortable. And, uh, and my brother's up there working which one is, which light is my brother? My brother is shining light upon me. Love you, Chris. Uh, this one's for Chris.
going. I was, I was going to. Uh, I was going to sneak one more song in between that one, um, just because it's appropriate for. Yeah. Yeah. 
That song was written by Stone Gossett. And, and, and I believe it was written on a, wasn't it written on a sunny day or something? Wasn't it called Morning Sun or something like that initially? Or so I don't think it was written in Seattle. Good chance it was written here. There's one thing I wanted to mention. Um, if there's a guy out there named uh, Rob, you are, you are from the Philippines, you are from Manila. You, you made it to this show and you're gonna come to the ones in LA too, which is great, great, great. Uh, he brought his wife, he's never seen us before. Apparently he's been waiting for quite some time. Um, Rob, if you wanna just make your way to the side. Um, it's Rob from Manila. And then uh, just come see, and I'll see you over there in a minute, and then we'll talk later. I just, I just wanted to say hi to you. And then, uh, this one, uh, you know, something happened the other day. I didn't tell you guys, but it's true. Uh, I was sitting in a chair in the hotel room. It was the morning after a show, and maybe we hung out a little bit after, but uh, I, I can't remember. I think it was in New Orleans. And, and I, I, uh, I sat in the chair, and I, and I suddenly couldn't move, and I, I really had no control of any of my appendages, and then I, then I found myself looking back at myself. Uh, and, and this was just in the morning. I hadn't even had a cup of coffee or anything. This is just kind of straight, normal wake-up time. And I realized for the first time that my soul and my body are not the same thing, because it was outside of it. And, and then I realized, like, oh, fuck. So I tried to take my soul kind of floating into the bathroom. I wanted to look at it in the mirror and see what it looked like, what I really looked like, you know? And then right before that, no, I wasn't on shrooms. You fucking asshole, I'm trying to tell you a true story. All right, I was, you got me, fuck it. No, but the crazy thing is, is right, right as I hit the bathroom door and popped it open and I came around the corner, that's when I snapped out of it. So I'm, I, um, I'm, I'm still curious to see what's inside. <laughs>
Reserve.
ist, äh, es ist, ja. Äh, yeah. I was gonna say that, you know, uh, a lot of our folks are here tonight, you know. Uh, Matt's mom over there, Helen. Uh, Helen. And of course, his sister and brother, Patty and Pete, they're here too. All three of my brothers are here. And, and uh, my McCready's pop is here with his buddy. Jeff's just folks were at the last show. But anyway, I, I was gonna say that it's almost as if like they were showing off for the parent, but it's not. They do that every fucking night. Bigger and bigger. Mm. In some ways, I feel like they almost toned it down not to freak, like Mike didn't want to freak his dad out. Like, oh my God, my son's a monster. <laughs> Uh, this here is about uh, coming from a town uh, much like San Diego. Here, you know, here you here you got the planes. Here you got the people who fly the planes. Up in uh, Seattle, that's where we build them. Uh, this song's called Insignificant. Excuses turn to coven walls Blame it all on 
Hello. Uh, here we are. Before we, before we start this next one, can I uh, ask our friend Rob, our new friend Rob? Manila, you in the house? Yes, no, come on. Uh, he, uh, someone turned me on to this really nice story uh, um, about Rob, and um, he, I guess he's been listening to us for 21-something years. Since you were like two? <laughs> um, well, uh, it, it's, uh, it, we played in 95, and, and uh, you, you missed that one. And so uh, now, now you don't have to feel bad about that anymore because you, you made it. And, uh, That's why I, I asked you to come up because as a representative of, because uh, we had an incredibly memorable time there, and um, and, uh, and and we because of that we've been thinking about y'all in the last uh, two weeks, one week, ten days, uh, from Typhoon High End, and um, so we'll we'll see you in Los Angeles as well. But when when you I, I, as a represent, we just wanted to tell you to tell them that we're thinking about and then we're going to send you home with a check too that you can take care of them. Yeah, it will just be a little something, but we thought since you're here, we could save on postage and have 100% of the money. Yeah. So, uh... And uh, I, I should also mention a man after my own heart. And I, you know, a few years ago, they, uh, he and his wife was here. They, they had a, their firstborn and they, they named him after. Edward. Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron's a much better name, but. Uh, all right, so uh, everybody, that's Rob and uh, San Diego, Rob, Rob, San Diego. I 
sing it like we're like at a campfire. Say like uh, in front of Cardiff Reed for Jordan's This, actually, this song was actually written um, a while back, way, way back, and, and only about uh, a few blocks away from here. Seriously. It was a little tape machine, a little four-track machine. Oh, 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 oh,
like to dedicate this one to the last man standing. Lose records. Lose records. I want to thank him for all my records. Thank him for all my t-shirts back in the day. And uh, long live Lose Records.
Because like we said before, um, you know, this, it seems uh, just real comfortable. If, if, if that, I mean, that's how it looks. How does it feel? I mean, you figure we only get to get down here every, you know, few years and we got all the gear and all the equipment and all the fellas and all the crew and all the, well, a few lights. And, uh, but if you're good, we'll, we'll keep playing for a while. I don't know what time it is. How's everybody in the back in the Matt Cameron Drum Clinic tonight? Shaka. And, uh, you know, a lot of the faces, they, they don't really change. I mean, there's a lot of um, San Diego faces. It's just nice to see everybody. Tijuana, I fucking knew there was gonna be some Tijuana. Fucking Tijuana in the house tonight. They still got iguanas, is that still going? Really? Death Trap, that place. Awesome place to see a show, but scary. Um, driving down, I was, I was thinking that, uh, you know, just all the, you, if, if, if if I'm in a car driving here, all it is is, is flooding memories. It's, it's like watching an old beta VHS tape on fast forward of everything that I, we've been through. And, um, you know, driving by and, and up on the hill, I see this little thing called Thrifty Gas. And it's called something different now, but the building's still there and it's still a gas station. And that was, it was Thrifty Gas, but it was actually Thrifty Gas and Grass because we knew the guys that would sell us dime bags with a pot. And, um, and then, then, I mean, everything from like your, your uh, first job, your first car, your first car crash soon after. But uh, one thing I did, I, I did, you know, I, I, the paper came and, and it's the Union Tribune, the San Diego Union, U, UT, whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I will say it said it said like the, the, the byline like right where the date is right it says um, it says uh, the world's greatest country America's finest city. I mean, look, I think you guys are smarter than the average bear for finding, uh, you know, to end up living in San Diego. However, you're pulling this shit off. If you're gonna live in a place like San Diego. But this whole, the world's greatest country, America's finest city, like where'd your humility go? <laughs> what the fuck? Don't make me remind you about the name of your football team, the name of your baseball team. <laughs> I love both fucking teams. I love them both, but just don't, just don't make me remind you. I'm also a Cub fan, so. <laughs> yeah, America's finest city, country, what? Okay, you gave us Ron Burgundy, but okay, that's enough. All right, so um, back to the job at hand. I, I, I would mention that this, it, I was living in Seattle, but my memory of this song, uh, the memory that I was trying to draw from was actually taken, I believe, the 163 uh, from Miramar Road down towards uh, the, the Dawson. It was off El Cajon Boulevard and Dawson. Um, and, uh, uh, my job, I had to wear a, a clip-on tie. This one's called Slight of Hand.
Routine was the theme He'd wake up and wash him for himself in uniform Something he had no matter Emerging traffic paths He found himself staring down At his own hands Trying to remember the change Trying to recall the plan Was it
much smarter than us and, and, and he ended up figuring out a way how to live down here and he's been living down here for the last number of years and, and um, you know he, he, he also he, he figured out it would be probably even more fun to work for Neil Young than to work for us so um, but but he was he was with us from the early early days and he actually was with Matt since he was just a kid playing with Soundgarden uh, <laughs> And the, the reason I bring it up, it's not just to, to, to mention our friend Eric, but it's also to mention his lovely wife, Stefa, who they celebrated yesterday, their 19th year anniversary. So, um, and, 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 uh, yeah. And then um, all the other great couples out there, I don't know how many years you got together, but, um, that's, uh, these are achievements that, uh, these are the, that's the real thing. Every year, it, it, it keeps planning. I, I, you, you know about this, you know about this. So uh, there's uh, Polly and Jen, I wanna talk, uh, I wanna send it out to you, and, and, and Carrie and Sarah, and um, all, all the people whose names I don't know, all the great couples, this one's for you. Yes, I understand that every life was in the heart. As we sit alone, I know someday we must go on. Yeah, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Some folks think I want you. Yeah. They got none of Stay with me Let's just breathe <sighs> Practice the last hands Never gonna let Yeah. 
As I come clean, I wonder every day as I look upon your face on. song off it uh, except for one and we just thought we'd let you know uh, th this would be the first time that we're trying to experiment with it live a sip of wine for courage a toast to San Diego and off we go
my favorite one, I, I would definitely smash it for effect. But, um, I can't do that. Speaking of getting smashed, is everybody okay out there? to make light of it, it's about responsible drug use, of which I think could be a real thing. Um, Stand out, I'm falling down. I said. 
the surf's gonna be shitty tomorrow anyway. Like, what the fuck? Let's just stick around here. We got the place to ourselves. It's all good. I mean, I hear we are on a college campus, is that correct? So doing what we're doing right here, this is gonna be my only shot at being on a college campus, so I'd like to take advantage of it as much as possible. I'd like to... Uh... What's that? Raise your hand. What's that? The thing is, I, we, we all lost our hearing about 1995. Can't hear a damn thing. It's really loud on stage and we still can't hear a damn thing. That's why we look at each other to see what... My McCready, he's got earplugs. He I can say whatever I want. He won't, no, he won't hear a damn thing. It's four o'clock, Mike. Yes, it is four o'clock. Um... I, I was, uh, you know, speaking of this school, my mom, my dear mom, who's here tonight? Hopefully sitting down in a lazy boy chair or something comfortable. I can't see anymore. I can't hear. I can't see. I can't. I'm just. Uh, she's over. Hey, hey, mom. All right. Now, now, now here's an exercise in trust, okay? I'm gonna hand you this bottle and you're gonna pass it up to my mom right there. Cause, uh, you know, we have easy years and we have hard years and this, this has not been the easiest of years and you know, my mom's still, still cooking, looking good and uh, here's to you, mom. Give my mom a drink, will you? Just pass it on, you'll get it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone else is here. I, I just want to, um, there's a really great friend of Stone's he's had for years and years and years, a very courageous woman named Camille. And she's out there and it's her, uh... there you go, mom. It's all yours. It's genetic. <laughs> All right, this is to Camille. Uh, this is to my mom. This is also to a woman who yesterday got the, uh, the Medal of Freedom from Barack Obama, one of the great women on the planet. Her name's Gloria Steinem, a good friend of ours. So uh, we'd like to play this one for all the women. This one's called Leaving Here.
McCurdy. Thanks for the fight. Jeff Heyman on the bass, etc. Stone Gossard. We haven't brought up his name yet, but on the keyboards, B3. The Warrior, Boom Gasper. Another warrior on the drum kit. He's a great singer, he's a great songwriter. Uh, could be the best drummer around, That's, he's got my vote. Uh, along with many others. Uh, I don't want to, I know. I know, I don't want to embarrass him. His drum teacher's here tonight. I don't want to embarrass him, but John Santos, he did great. Matt Cameron. And I don't say it lightly, uh, it's been a great a pleasure and a privilege. We look forward to it and, and uh, what a great audience and a great room to play for. I, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. We should do this more often.
Yeah. This is when you really ask the question, why go home? We gotta at least play one more. I think we gotta play one more. The thing is, is that I already, I already, I started on the set list for the, the next show. I mean, we could play that one too if you want. We could just call it practice. But uh, in all seriousness, you know, can I, can I just say, I, 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 uh, we got to meet Rob tonight for the first time from the Philippines. And at the end of it, I, 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 you know, we're, we're gonna, for, there's a couple bucks for each, peop, uh, each person here. We're gonna try to send a check with, it's not much, it's 25 grand. It's, it's not gonna make a huge difference. But I like the idea that it would be in the name of your family and that uh, something positive came out of this, this thing about us, uh, you liking music. And, um, and, and one of the reasons that we brought it up tonight is also, I, I, I forgot to mention, because this is a, a very intense thing. We, we know about loss of life, uh, not just from you know, members of our family and, and we've all you go through battles, you know, things are good and then, then things are not so good. And then you gotta get through it and, and you realize that there's no choice but to get through it. There's no, you don't have a choice but to get through it. And that's, that's when you realize like, oh, this is life. This is life. What was before was, was just kind of, it, it was kind of dreamland. But, but, but life is, is when you go through the hard stuff. And what you're going through right now, what your country's going through, and what we know from even Ross Gilder, where there was 10 people lost. I mean, if you've got 4,000, 5,000 people, the, 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 uh, it's incredible what you're going through. So if, a small dent, but as I mentioned that, can I just say that there's two people that if we know from being in the group, and one guy you would know, his name's Trevor Hoffman. Another guy we know is named Jamie Moyer from Seattle. They're both down here now. In the next two days, they're doing a, a, a food drive, money drive, whatever it is, in Del Mar. So if you, uh, for um, the, uh, the typhoon victims in the Philippines, if you want to support that, uh, it would be great for them to know that they got a little bit of um, recognition to a large group of people. And, and even I would just go to meet Trevor Hoffman and Jamie Moyer, but it's in Del Mar. And if you look it up, you'll, you'll see it. Um, the, uh, the last thing I was gonna mention was that uh, Mike McCready's dad is here. And also, uh, can you stand up, Roy McCready? Everybody should see you. He's, uh, now you see where Mike gets his good looks. <laughs> And uh, he's been reunited with a good friend of his named Jerry. They served in the Navy together. They got shot down over the Gulf of Tonkin. They've been through a lot together. And um, I hope you don't mind us talking about that on the, on the big stage, but uh, these are things that we usually keep to ourselves and sometimes you gotta let it out. And I, I know that Mike McCready, Mike would love to play this song for you and Jerry.
I'll see them on a front
It's an honor and a privilege to say these next four words. Thank you, San Diego. Thank you very much. Great night. Good night. Be good. Take care of each other. Save the world. We'll see you next time. Good night. Thank you.